sense of relief, a sense of excitement to, to actually be here, to be done with the, the long trip, that part of it, and to be here and know you're focused on the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, look, I, I feel that we're, yeah, we had a long road trip, but that's easy to forget uh, once you get into the postseason this off day certainly helps um, don't expect that to be too much of a factor and it is really nice to be at a, a, a good ballpark pretty familiar with it certainly recently and know that it's a strong fan base so it should be an exciting atmosphere how much difference does the day make though in regards to what's going on to get here and then having the day off yeah, I mean, it can help. I, look, I think our guys did a really good job. I know we, we didn't get the wins that you'd, you'd like to get at the end of the year, but our, our guys did a good job and felt like we did a, we worked hard to balance out the lineup, certainly the pitching and the bullpen, to get everybody as, as fresh as can be with a you know 162 season uh, before that. So very, very confident that, that their minds are fine guys are kind of where you need them to be heading into this then, especially Yanni's got some time off, Jason and Pete have pitched for a while. So yeah, good yeah. Jason and Pete both threw pretty extended um, bullpens, um, simulated bullpens, kind of. Uh, Yandi, I checked with him before, or all throughout the Houston series, and we kind of had it in our mind, let's play on, on the middle game of Boston and then give him two full days off. Um, the middle game in 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 uh, Boston. Change up tomorrow, and as you, as you point out, we made a bigger deal out of the second half than, than you guys have. But what do you what do you need Shane to do tomorrow? Fill up the strike zone. I mean, when we see Shane really fill up the strike zone, he's got his uh, his he has his better games. Uh, count control is huge with every pitcher. He certainly falls under that. Um, if if you know Kyle always says it, it's a, it's a sprint to two strikes. Hopefully, our pitchers take that approach throughout this series. He had mixed results in the postseason last year. Yeah. How do you think that maybe benefits him, and how do you think he'll handle the stage tomorrow? Uh, the mixed results, that was on me, on, on us asking him to come back on break his routine. For a young pitcher, that's a big order. Uh, he was pretty dominant in that first game. I think that Shane, the way he handles it and the way he cares so much that he spent a lot of time probably analyzing and processing from that game four. Uh, and I actually think that all that stuff made him a better pitcher going into this year. Kevin, um, obviously Cleveland's a very good ball club, but what makes them especially challenging from your standpoint to face? Uh, I mean, look, you can compliment them on every facet. Play good defense. They're pitching. We saw all three of the pitchers. I'm guessing that we're going to see here very talented starters. Back into the bullpen is pretty dominant. Um, and then offensively, there, there's a lot of talk and a lot of compliment about lineups that don't strike out because we're kind of in the strikeout era right now. Cleveland's one of them, and you know we saw it firsthand. We played a lot of tight ball games, and when you have guys that are constantly putting pressure on you by putting the ball in play. Um, it, it presents challenges. You got to play really clean defensively uh, when you're not picking up strikeouts. And I think we're kind of used to striking out teams. Certainly in the East, you got some, some thunder, but with that comes strikeouts. Kevin, what's most impressed you about Tyler during his rehab process to get back, get fully healthy, um, and, and then the way that he came and, and pitched here a couple of weeks ago? Yeah. I, Honestly, probably his mental state. Uh, the last, before the injury, uh, and you know, before the main injury that shut him down, it was pretty taxing on his mind that he he never could feel right. Um, confident that he feels right now, and I think it's relaxed him a little bit to where he can go out there and just focus on executing pitches and what's bothering him on this start or in this bullpen. Um, and his overall stuff. I mean, when he's right, he's as good as anybody in baseball. Kevin, you have more experience than them postseason. Um, curious, does it? Do you think it shows up more in a longer series or shorter series, or helps in both? Yeah, their guy has more, a lot more postseason experience than me. Um, yeah, look, I I think kind of the culture that Tito creates over there. Whatever lack of experience they have, 
I think that his players, I'm very confident that they're going into this situation with a confident mindset. As far as we go, um, yeah, I think it's a benefit. Rather, you know, rather than it be Shane's first time, I'd rather it be his second or third appearance. Wander, Randy, uh, all of our guys. For the most of it, we've got our, our position players have experienced playoff baseball. Uh, in a short season, a short series or long, I don't, maybe a longer series might help. struggled a bit over the last month or so. Your pitching has been so good. What do you reasonably need out of your hitters in this series? Um, a little more contact. We need some more contact. Um, because while, when we struggled, I think, you know, maybe our contact guys weren't, weren't, weren't getting their hits or started to swing and miss a little bit. Um, and, and we need Randy to be Randy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm thrilled where G-Man – Finished. That's a big boost for for him and can be for us. Um, you know, I, I know Wander. I've talked to Wander and and, and Randy. They their their eyes light up for these moments and would expect the same. That last year, I mean, they were your two best hitters when you guys got to the ALDS. You think you, they kind of live up to the stage a little bit or want to live up to the stage? I, yes, I do. I mean, they're they're big game. They're very talented. They're talented throughout the re regular season, and it, it does feel not putting added pressure on any player, but it does feel they have that ability to take it to another level. You know how tight you and Tito are. I mean, what's it been like for you to watch all these health issues over the last three years that he's been through and just has your relationship changed at all during all that? No, our, I think our, I would like to think our relationship probably is a little stronger. Uh, when I was with him, you know, the health, health issues weren't, weren't really there. Um, so, I'm glad he's healthy, that's for sure. I'm glad he's doing better. And he's got so many people in the game that care about him that a lot of his relationships probably got better because we were constantly checking on him. You said, though, he doesn't have a lot of time to talk during the season, but were you always on him about texting or whatever, like keeping up, checking He doesn't out? have time to He says talk. he doesn't have time to talk on the phone when, during the season. Is that true? What was he doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, we talked. <laughs> drawers and everything in the office when you first get in there to make sure there's I do. no surprises. Yeah. He's a child. Yeah. <laughs> yep. No, not yet. Not yet. Um, not quite there yet. Pretty Frankie's status, is that clear up at all? Well, Frankie, I don't know yet. The, the, it was supposed to be at 11 o'clock today, so we'll, we'll find out. I'm, I'm going to call him after this. Kevin, in all seriousness, seriousness about Tito and the time you spent with him and played for him, what what did you glean from him as a manager that that you've used in your career? Oh man, I mean, look, it goes without saying he's been the most impactful person um, for me as far as baseball goes. Um, consistency, how to treat people. Um, I've said it over and over again, but being the 24th or 25th guy on the roster. Uh, it's very easy to overlook that player, and Tito never did that for for me. And I watched other guys that were that way. Uh, he treated that type of player very similar to the the David Ortiz's, the, the superstars. Then that goes a long way when you know that this game's really tough, and you got a guy that is uh, being consistent with you every day. Consider him like an older brother, or. No, I consider him a child. <laughs> yeah, like a young toddler. Yeah. <laughs> in the postseason, uh, every team kind of tends to go to their bullpen maybe earlier than, and deal with every little situation there. But, uh, yeah, I've been known to do that. Yeah, you have to. I'm sure you for that time, yeah. too. But uh, in this case this year, you guys have lost so many arms in the bullpen over the course of the year. As you go into the postseason now, you feel like you have that kind of depth necessary to do that if you need to, or do you feel like, you know, especially as good as Shane and Brass and even Tyler Petrie is have been to stay with them longer and be okay, or is that going to be a feel thing every inning as we go? Yeah, yeah. I, no. Shane McClanahan is going to pitch, hopefully, until uh, the pitch count limit is reached. Whatever Kyle and I decide, he's that good. So if, if he goes out like we expect him to do and confident he'll do, he's going to give us a good start, and maybe then our bullpen is that much set up more. Um, 
and very similar with Glass. He's under stricter pitch count orders just because he's coming back from injury. It's a little different this postseason. We've had postseasons where we are managing workloads of pitchers, uh, but it's a good feeling to know that Shane can go out there and provide his you know, 100, 110 pitches. That puts us in a really good spot. Everybody good? All right. Yep. <clears throat> Shane, Kevin was just in here talking about how we thought you kind of grew from your experience last postseason. What, in your view, did you take from that uh, that helped you this year? Baseball's hard. Uh, you know, I think the second you think you have it figured out, it'll uh, it'll humble you real quick. And um, you know, it really motivated me. It uh, fueled me into the off season. You know, to keep working hard and you know, try and develop more as a pitcher, as a player, as a person. And you know, I think I've made those adjustments. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I learned a lot about myself this season. I, uh, I, I learned what it what it takes to have success, and you know, I learned what you know failure feels like too. And uh, you know, obviously, I wanted to have way more success than I do failures. And but you know, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. And I think it's all about how you respond. And you know, I got you know a couple of strings of bad luck, and I kept working, and you know, I bounced back. I thought pretty good. So I think it just taught me to. Uh, just be consistent, you know, be be the same guy <clears throat> day in and day out and just keep it simple. Shane, you had to kind of alter your routine just a touch for a Friday start here after where you were last time. Did you kind of alter your days of what you were doing in between or are you just good to go? Just, yeah, just no. Uh, I mean, I, f I feel like I was on a good routine. I mean, I had my normal routine all year and uh, I actually had an extra day of rest uh, for tomorrow and so that's, that's greatly appreciated. But no, I, I stayed on my routine and uh, did do what I do to you know, hopefully put myself in the best position for success. Shane, you have not faced Cleveland since a couple months ago, mm -hmm. but you got to see them in person. What did you learn from the start, and, and how much do you think that and seeing them a week and a half ago helped you prepare? Yeah, um, you know, they're a good team, obviously. And, um, you know, there's a reason they're in this, this position, and uh, they're a competitive group. Uh, group of guys uh, you know that that lineup's good their pitching is very good and so it, it's going to be a lot of fun to compete against them what are some of the challenges of dealing with a, a lineup like theirs that doesn't really strike out such contact still there. a lot of strikes and trust the guys behind you you know how much do you relish this opportunity to pitch I know it's, it's lined up this way but it was lined up this way for a reason to pitch the game on a playoff series and especially in a short series I'm honored um, you know this is uh, I feel like I've had a lot of kind of big spots so far in my, my short career. Um, you know, game one last year and game one this year and the playoffs in 2020. And, you know, I, I think it's, it's, it's really cool for me. Uh, you know, six, seven-year-old me would be ecstatic to see where I am today. And, uh, you know, I think that's just a testament to the hard work and everything like that that, you know, I've put in throughout my career. And I think good things happen to good people. And, you know, I'm trying every day to be the best person I can be on and off the field. And, you know, I just got to keep it simple and trust what I can do. Wouldn't the 17 or 18 year old Shane McClanahan be pretty excited about where you're at today, too? Yeah, that, that 18 year old me had Tommy John. I didn't know what I was going to be with my life. And, um, you know, I really took school seriously when I had Tommy John. And, you know, it was uh, it's pretty cool to see how far I've come in the last, uh, you know, last few years. I don't remember if you faced Quan earlier this year. Yeah, he, he bunted on me. First Did pitch. He? Yeah. First pitch? First pitch of the game, I believe. I was just going to ask you, like, he's a guy that is, is known for, like, these long at-bats. That wasn't one of them. But how challenging is it when you have a guy up there who sets a tone for a team like that way? Yeah, um, yeah he's a rookie this year, correct? And, you know, he's he's his very special player. You know, uh, doesn't strike out, puts the ball in play, battles, and, you know, plays a stellar outfield. And so, you know, to watch that is actually pretty cool. You know, I can I love to appreciate, you know, the greatness of players that, you know, I get to compete against. And, you know, watching him do his thing, is it's, it's really cool to see, you know, uh, I feel like this game has gotten to a point where, you know, people are either hitting home runs or striking out. And, you know, to see him go up there and just put together quality at bat after quality at bat, it, it's pretty cool. How much do you lean on Corey Kluber and talking to him about what this environment's like pitching in the postseason? Um, you know, I, I, I feel like I had a good taste of it the last couple of years, truthfully. You know, um, you know, I had game one last year, game four, and uh, – you know, but having Klubs here is it's 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 kind of been it's kind of been very surreal for a lot of us in that in that clubhouse because you know Corey has a sense of professionalism that I don't think we've seen before. You know, the guy's been there, done that, you know, 
two Cy Youngs, you know, the, the postseason, everything in, in between too. And, you know, to have him on our, on our side with that leadership and that knowledge and pick his brain and just, you know, kind of just see that everything's going to be okay because, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's easy to get caught up in a lot of stuff. And to have Corey there, just have him balance us all out, it's awesome. You know, he's, he's been a good friend to me, beats me at golf every time we play. And, um, but no, it's been, it's been invaluable. Anything else? All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I guess the first question is, how are you feeling? Uh, how's the shoulder feel? And are you ready to uh, tackle some postseason baseball? Primera pregunta, ¿cómo se siente el hombro? Y si estás listo para los playoffs. No, me siento, me siento mejor. Todavía tengo como algunas molestias, pero ya sabía que me siento mejor. No, I feel good. You know, thankfully, uh, I still feel good. Still a little bit of, of a bother, but for the most part, I feel a lot better. Do you think you'll be able to play three days in a row if necessary? Yes, claro. a 100%, I'm ready to play three games and some. So the rest probably helps in this past yeah, week. Yeah, the rest probably helps in this past week. Yes, it helped me plenty. Um, I'm able to make more swings, a lot more comfortably. Yeah, you know, you're the best hitter in the league. Do you think you'll be able to do that again? Yeah, I'm sure. ¿Qué significa estar en los playoffs? Allá jugamos la temporada regular, pero es diferente jugar los playoffs. ¿Qué no explicar? contento, ya esto es, yo digo que, sabe que es como otra fase, ya tenemos que jugar más, más colectivo. Y si jugamos colectivo, vamos a poder llevarnos la, la victoria. No, it's definitely a, like a different season. You know, you got to play collectively, you got to play together. Uh, and if you do that, you play together, you hopefully get a victory. Do you think the postseason experience helps? Some of you guys who've been here for a few years have um, four straight years in the playoffs. How do you feel like you've improved with experience? ¿Qué puedes decir de la experiencia que ya tienes de estar en los playoffs ya los últimos cuatro años? Sí, ya llevo cuatro años yendo a playoffs. Es uno que puedo decirle a mi compañero que sabe el mismo béisbol con un poquito más de gente, pero sabe es lo mismo. No, it's, I've been obviously here four years now. Um, if I would give some advice to, to my teammates, is that it's just the same game, it's the same baseball, and just be comfortable. Yandi, personally, you joked with us three years ago, but how does your life experience help you, do you think, in these big atmospheres? ¿Cómo se siente nomás la experiencia de, de tu vida, de tener experiencias ahora en, en, en los playoffs? No contento, y más que con un equipo que supuestamente no era tan competidor, mm -hmm. me siento contento de poder ayudar a, a este equipo a estar estos cuatro años en, en playoffs. No, uh, I'm very happy, especially when I came here. This was in a team that was really winning some or going to the playoffs. So I'm very fortunate that I've been able to be in the playoffs the last four years. Yeah, you guys just saw these starting pitchers for Cleveland just a couple of weeks ago. Does, does that help in any way, or does it not really make a difference? Nos ayudará que ya vimos este equipo la semana pasada, los lanzadores de ellos. Nos ayuda que apenas los, los vimos la semana pasada. Sí, nos puede ayudar, pero como te digo, toda, digo que todas las salidas ¿no? de, de, de pitch no, no son iguales todos los días. A lo mejor esta salida sale diferente, entonces tenemos que, que aprovechar bien los, los primeros cines. Yeah, you know, it, it definitely helps a little bit, but it, it's baseball and all. An outing is going to be different. So even if they had a good outing or a bad outing, in this game, you never know what can happen. Um, so as, as long as you go out there and compete, we'll be all right. So last year, uh, Wander and Randy seemed to turn it on for the postseason. Randy done that a couple years. How much of a difference could that make if those two guys get hot for you guys? El año pasado, durante los playoffs, Wander y Randy se calentaron muy bien. Qué importante va a ser tener algunos de ellos está caliente durante estos playoffs. No, si, si, sabes, si todos podemos batear bien, muy difícil que, que los equipos nos ganen, y eso es lo que vamos a hacer. I think if, if we hit really well, collectively, I think it's going to be very tough for any team to beat us, and that's the plan. Yandy, what do you remember fondly about your time in Cleveland? ¿Qué te acuerdas de tus memorias aquí en Cleveland? Tú sabes, pues, personalmente, siempre le doy gracias a ellos por, por ser mi primer equipo. Tú sabes, siempre voy a la agradecido y tú sabes jugar ahora en contra de ellos para mí es una como digo yo es una felicidad. Now personally, you know, grateful that they were able to give me the opportunity because it was my first team, um, and it's also very cool to be able to play against them here. Did you come to the interview room a lot when you were with Cleveland? Y viniste al cuarto de la entrevista mucho cuando estabas con Cleveland. No, 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 no,
um, many of the players on, on uh, Cleveland. Todavía conoces varios de los compañeros que tuviste aquí. Sí, conozco mucho. O sea, a muchos no, nunca como eh, el mismo equipo, pero sí lo había visto mucho en, en días menores. Yeah, the, I still know a lot of guys. We may not have played on the same team in the big league team, but in the minor leagues, we, we knew each other a lot. Everybody good? Just one more, just the last one. Just wanted to understand, like, Yanni, where you got the discipline to learn how to control the strike zone as well as you did. Quiero entender un poco de dónde viene la disciplina a tuya cuando estás en el plato. Yo creo que yo siempre he dicho que yo creo que, sabe, como que nací con ese con ese don y gracias a Dios en toda mi carrera he venido con esa disciplina y gracias a Dios hasta ahora la, la he mantenido. I always said that I think I was born with, with that, that skill. Uh, you know, thank God I've been able to continue with that in my career, and, and it's something that I really take uh, pride in.